Hey folks, it's an age-old question. Which is better, circle hooks or J-hooks? Well, stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Well, folks, if you've been around the fishing world for any amount of time, especially if you fish for catfish, for stripers, or saltwater fish, the topic of circle hooks is going to come up. Uh, it's always a question that I see online in some of the fishing forums and Facebook groups online is, which is better, circle hooks or J-hooks? Will I catch more fish? I'm getting bad hookups. I get better hookups with this one. Well, here's the deal, guys. I've been fishing with circle hooks for about 15 years now. I uh, started out as a typical J-hook fisherman like everybody else and uh, was looking for a way first to have a more effective hookup rate when I am trolling, dragging, and drifting for catfish. Uh, the other thing is I became more of a conservationist and released more and more of these trophy fish. I wanted a way to do that uh, in an effective manner that protected the fish and did not harm them and circle hooks were a better way to go. So that is really the two reasons that I started using circle hooks. Well, what's the difference between a circle hook and a J hook? Well, a circle is not a complete circle, but uh, you can tell a circle hook from a J hook very easily by looking at the point, the tip, the sharpest part of that hook. If it points back to the shank of the hook, which is the part that comes down the straight part from that you tie off onto that's got the little eye. If that point points back to the shank of the hook at a 90 degree angle, it's a circle hook. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I've heard of all kinds of different names out there for different actions and it'll do this and it'll do that. The bottom line is if it makes that 90 degree point, it's a circle hook. The reason behind that point is, is that it won't catch on anything as it comes out of a fish's mouth most of the time. The intent and the hope with this is, is that if a fish swallows a hook and a bait, uh, it won't catch it in the back of the throat where it can cause bleeding or catch it in the gills. Uh, these hooks generally will pull out to the edge of the fish's mouth and that's where they will set up at. Now, that's not always the case. Uh, sometimes you will throat hook one eventually. I catch probably anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 catfish a year. I probably have five or six that get throat hooks. So they're very effective in eliminating those gill and throat hooks on catfish. Now, the other thing that I like about them is, uh, especially when I am drifting, dragging, trolling for catfish, is these hooks set themselves. Get that one going. Boom. Hooked up, baby. Hooked up. So if you watch any of my videos, many times you'll see me get up and go, oh, I've got a fish, especially during live feeds. I do this all the time. Oh, I've got a fish. Rod's folded over. I don't have to run over there to that rod and set the hook. Uh, it, it, it's going to set the hook itself. As long as there's enough drag, a flexible tip, uh, and enough uh, tension on the line, the hooks will basically set themselves. If you're drifting, trolling, whatever, when these fish hit it and swim off, it's going to pull that hook to the corner of the mouth, outside of the mouth, where it's going to hook up. Now for some people, it's difficult not jerking the rod, uh, especially if you grew up uh, bass fishing or something like that. Uh, it can be kind of difficult not to want to jerk that rod and that's understandable. Uh, but the best thing you can do is just, you got a fish swimming off with it, reel, 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 reel down on it, lift the rod up, you'll get enough resistance on it, it's going to pull that hook to the corner and you're going to get a good hook set. Now, one of the comments that I see repeatedly when it comes to circle hooks or J hooks for that matter, or any type of hook that somebody tries out, if they don't hook up on a fish and they get a bite, they try to blame the hook. And guys, let me try to explain this to you. When a fish takes your bait, there are a lot of factors that come into play that determine whether or not you hook up. One, is it a catfish, first of all? Um, it could be a gar. It could be another type of fish that is less likely to get hooked up. Uh, it could be that they don't take the entire bait into their mouth. Uh, perhaps it's just, you know, uh, a small fish and it picks it up and runs off with it and cannot fully ingest it. There's a lot of factors. Um, so you have to keep that in mind just because you lose a couple of fish. The other thing is, sometimes they're, for whatever reason, I don't know why it is, there are times like that. 
uh, where it's just one fish after another does not get hooked up on. And that is just the nature of fishing. That is why fishing with rod and reel is a sporting means. The fish has a chance. So I just like to throw that out here because I hear that comment so much that, you know, I'm just not getting as many hookups. And I honestly, I don't think anybody really tracks their hookup rates. I've heard people make that comment and y'all know me, I'm kind of a catfish scientist and I track a lot of stuff and I don't know anybody that's really tracked that. They have a bad day or a bad night fishing and they're trying to blame it on the type of hook that they're using. And I don't know that that's always fair for either type of hook, a circle hook or a J hook. Now, are there times where I think a J-hook is a better suited hook? Yeah, there are times. Uh, if you are fishing for fish uh, that, say, are on the bank, you're, say, anchored up, and this is really a good one for boat fishermen, you're casting toward the bank. You expect those fish to take a bait and head to deep water. In other words, that is going to be coming right at you. That fish is not going to be going away from you. That's probably a good time for a J-hook, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what I do, if you've ever seen me fishing, if you've ever seen me kick the boat, that is generally when I've got, I'm anchored up and I have a fish going from the bank to deep water and he's coming straight at the boat. I will try to kick the boat to get that fish to make a right or left turn away from that noise. When he does that, he turns his head, he's going to pull that line, he's going to pull that hook into his mouth. But that situation is one I can think of where a J hook will probably be better. If you're fishing for some type of fish that is not taking the bait and swimming off with it. Say you're fishing maybe a around some brush pile you're, or a rock pile and you're suspend fishing and you're almost drop shotting on these fish where they're just going to come out and hit it and maybe just go back down. That might be a good place for J-hook. But me personally, uh, just from a conservation standpoint and sporting main standpoint, uh, I like using circle hooks, one to protect the fish and I get a heck of a lot more hookups uh, using them than I'll ever get with J-hooks hooks that I use from uh, hookers terminal tackle uh, have a wider gap on them. What I'm talking about is the distance between the point and the shank of the hook. I like it a little bit wider. Part of it's for the bait, part of it is because of the structure of a catfish mouth. Uh, probably, I don't know, 70-75% of them go into the corner and the corner of a catfish's mouth, flathead channel blue, it's not that big, it's not that thick. Uh, but occasionally you'll get one that will hook toward that bony, bristly outer part and having that wider gap I think helps out with getting some hookups uh, in those situations. The hookers terminal tackle circle hooks uh, that they sell are they got a couple different models and they're very similar to the Gamagatsu or owner style octopus circle hooks. They've got the bent eye uh, that I think is very important to have when it comes to snelling. You don't have to have it but all the hooks that I ever use have that bent octopus style eye on them so that when you snell it, the leader line is in line with the shank of the hook. And I think that helps with getting hookups. Now, another question I get in messages from people is what size hooks do I use? And I'll be honest with you, most of the time, uh, my big baits are put on eight alt uh, circle hooks. And my smaller baits, I usually fish on five volts. Uh, those are kind of the two ranges that I use. I've caught 40 and 50 pound fish on five volt circle hooks. So uh, those hooks will, are more than fine when they pull to the corner of a catfish's mouth and hook up. So those are the two sizes I go with. I go with the little bigger ones on some of the bigger baits. It just seems to help up uh, with some of the uh, hookup rates on them. I know some people use bigger, you know, 10 alt and 12 alt hooks. I, I've, I've tried them and I just, uh, I just feel that they're overkill for uh, the fish that, you know, you're going to be catching. And when you start looking at circle hooks, there's a lot of different ones out there. A lot of different shapes to them. Uh, some of them have, uh, you know, a, a straight shank on them. Some of them are more curved. I prefer the straight. Uh, you know, some of them really have a narrow gap on them. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, you know, for some types of fish, I think that'll work. I think for channel cats, you'll be okay doing that. I just prefer a wider gap. Uh, that's, just, that's just me and my preference. I've always liked that better and I uh, have always been uh, really, really uh, lucky with catching fish on those. Uh, the different brands kind of go with what you like. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to say that there's none of them better than the other and there's none of them really all that bad.
Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.